In today's video, we're going to be breaking down an entire ebook on how to defend bunch tight end. We're going to be showing this out of the dollar defense in our dollar defensive ebook series. If you want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook, that's available by becoming a Patreon member. Link's going to be in the description for that. That's where you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. And again, it's only 10 bucks to become a Patreon member. So it's a great way to just improve um, at the game. So if you want to get access to that, again, that link's going to be down below. So bunch tight end really important whenever we do these videos kind of understand like what makes bunch tight end good why is this formation uh, a popular formation and what defense are we choosing uh, to kind of counter this now in Madden the way Madden's kind of played in these days a lot of people like to audible from bunch to trips to tight to bunch tight end that's why we have the Jets playbook up a lot of times they'll be audibling into this so you have to be able to make adjustments on the fly so you need a defense that is going to be able to be well equipped to do that. I think dollar is the best equipped defense from an adjustments perspective. Now our audibles that we have for this defense is DB fire two, spinner free safety zone blitz and cover three cloud show two. Now what you can do in your coaching adjustments here is we're going to have our auto flip defense play call off. Our auto alignment is going to be set to base. Option defense is going to be on conservative. And then our zone drops. For this defense, what I like to do to start out, uh, unless we're specifically wanting to run a double Mabel defense, I like to use my curl flats at 20. I feel like this gives me a lot of versatility and ability to defend short corners and things of that nature. And then pretty much everything else is going to be standard. Now, we're going to be coming out in this double safety go defense every single time and then audibling into the coverage we want to call. I feel like this gives us the best alignment, which is important, and, a, and an ability to really defend a variety of different things that your opponent is going to throw at you. All right? So we're on the field, and the first defense that I like to use against bunch tight end, especially this basic var variation of bunch tight end, is the free safety zone blitz. And the reason I like this simple defense is because if you think about what bunch tight end does well, in my opinion, the best feature of bunch tight end, I think it beats man coverage fairly well. And then it throws corner routes to the left side pretty well. Pretty much you're going to have to defend the bunch side more than the tight end side, typically just with the way the formation is going to play. So we're going to, our first setup is we're going to go to free safety zone blitz. And what we're going to do with this defense is we are simply going to shade our coverage underneath. We're going to QB contain, and this is our base coverage. Now, the reason this defense is a really good base send five is you have flat protection on both sides of the defense. You also have a cover three shell. And if they're running their bunch, in this case, to the wide side of the field, then it's going to be difficult for them to run any kind of flood concept over here to the left side, what you'll see is if they try to do that, not only are they going to get screamed at before the corner route's going to come open, but also that outside third defender will do a really, really good job of playing that zone or that area of the field. Now, another thing, as I begin, as I kind of mentioned in the beginning, bunch tight end specifically is going to do, it's kind of a similar variation of trips tight end. If you think about it, you're going to defend bunch tight end and trips tight end very similarly. And what bunch, but what bunch tight end does that I think trips tight end doesn't always do a great job of bunch tight end is really good against man coverage. It has probably one of the best slant post concepts in the game out of P but over because we have this super deep post route. Uh, so for the next piece of this, I want to get into kind of defending the short side bunch tight end. And the reason for that is just because again, I think you're going to see more of this. The reason why you're going to see more of this is because let's say for example, that we sent that same exact coverage that we just showed you with free safety zone blitz, but now we're going to run this to the short side of the field. That's where this corner route is going to get wide open. Another feature of bunch tight end that does make it really good is its use of play action blocking. There's a lot of P boot over is a very versatile play that can be ran in a lot of different ways. And so your pressures are also going to be impacted specifically your a gap blitz might not be as good. So, for my next defense that I want to go over, I really like this one against bunch tight end. It's DB Fire 2. So the way we're going to use DB Fire 2 is, as you can see, we have this slot corner pressure on both sides of the defense. What I like to do with this one is I love to put an outside quarter on that bunch, that short side bunch side. I'm going to put a middle third to the safety, and then to that linebacker, I'm going to go ahead and hard flat him. So what this does is it gives us really good flat protection on both sides. Again, we want to try to limit how much they can throw layup throws. 
And then it also does a really good job of allowing our user to be able to kind of help in the middle of the field in the event that they do run any kind of slant post. Now, in the event that they do run a slant post concept, we're kind of relying on the pressure to get there before, as you can see. And the cool part about DB Fire, as you can see, is typically you're going to get double edge pressure with this defense. Now, the next defense that we're going to be going over against Bunch Tight End in particularly is going to be Cover 3 Cloud. So the way we're going to utilize this Cover 3 Cloud coverage is I think this is one of the better coverages, but we need to flip the play. So when we go to Cover 3 Cloud, we are going to flip it after we audible to it. Now, the reason for this is this allows us to continue to stay in our main defense that we want to be in with our free safety zone blitz and all of that stuff. But now we're going to basically have a double flat here to the left side. One of my favorite adjustments, if you think about the way bunch tight in as a whole works, is if we just drop this hook curl into a flat, we're going to have a hard flat and a deep flat zone. And then from there, what I also like to do is I'll typically drop the middle linebacker into a middle third and drop the safety into a hook curl. I think this is a better job of kind of helping us to the right-hand side. And then if you want to, you can hard flat that guy on the right because of the zone coverage shade. Another element of this would be to deep half, and you could have a cover two. I think cover two is really good on the tight end side, uh, just a standard basic cover two. But in general, if they're really killing you with corner routes, this adjustment right here is really good. So what you'll see is this corner route really doesn't have a great opportunity. As you see right there, if that's a deep zone KO, that's going to be a KO pretty much every single time. This kind of leads me to one of the other elements or one of the other route combos you need to be aware of that can be called from bunch tight in, and that is triple out. So triple out is a very good play, a very important play in bunch tight in because it's a couple things. The first thing it can do is it can beat a double flat. So like if you're double flatting this corner route to the circle receiver, it can actually get over the top of a 30 yard cloud. So even if I were to have 30 yard clouds, this corner route has a good chance to get over it. But what you'll see with this cover three cloud, see how that outside third defender is going to be able to basically hit him in. If you have a deep zone knockout at that position, deep out zone KO, deep zone KO, that is going to do a really good job of being able to kind of counter that specific corner route. Another thing that I think makes bunch tight end relatively difficult to defend is that they have a multitude of corner routes that they can go to. They have that corner route from triple out. Let me show you one other little piece of that corner route from triple out real quick. And if you run bunch tight end, you can certainly add this to your, your, to your offense. Uh, so this is a wide side setup, but it's really good specifically for cover three or cover four. So let's say we wanted to run cover four on, you know, on this, on this defensive uh, play right here. So we're just going to run a basic cover four. And again, we're going to use her in the middle of the field. What we're going to do here is we're going to motion this guy out, put him on a comeback route, and then you can do whatever we really want with the tight end. He could be just a simple backside drag. I really like the backside drag. But basically what will happen is this outside quarter will get pulled by the comeback route, as you'll see right there. Actually, he actually played that a lot better than he normally does. Uh, but typically he'll get pulled by that comeback route, and then that would be a one-play score. This also plays into the right side of the field we need to cover really quick as well. So another one of the real good bombs out of bunch tight in would be to run what I'm about to show you here out of PA boot over. So it's just a corner streak, basically like this kind of number. And what happens a lot of times is if you are playing cover three, this post, once he crosses the face of the safety, as you see right there, it's going to be potential one play score. So that's what bunch tight end does really well is it, it, when it can, it can really manipulate cover three and cover four coverages in general. And you want to understand where the manipulation is coming from so that you can kind of safeguard uh, the defense. Whereas like gun bunch, for example, I wouldn't say gun bunch does a great job at, you know, really bombing cover three. There's ways to kind of, you know, counter that more so Bunch tight in, I feel like if you play cover four and you and, and they motion, now again, obviously it's a specific thing, right? It's obviously a tell that they're motioning this left side receiver outside. So that's where you would want to know, okay, now there's a cover four bomb threat. But also, I mean, and you'll see here, I might have to be pressed for this to work. See there, he kind of bit he kind of bit down just for a split second, and then it will open this up. Let me uh let me go to 
just a basic uh, cover four shell. And we'll see if we can show this bomb off a little bit. So anyways, this is, this is the other kind of main piece of triple out is that it can be a really good cover four beater. You should see it here. So you see, see how that left side guy kind of bit down like that. And then I can throw this over the top. So there's, there's kind of, there's that cover three bomb. Now it's hash mark dependent, which is really important. So for the cover three bomb to work, they are running their bunch to the short side or the, the, the three receivers will be to the wide side of the field. If they're running their cover four bomb, they're going to have to motion out. So those are two elements that you have to be aware of. So what's really important is there's not really a great corner route from bunch tight in that will beat a cloud flat and a vert hook here to the right side. Now, obviously, I have a user here as well, but I just want to show this uh, tight end corner. So let's say let's say they run, you know, just a standard tight end apprentice corner, which is what they would run, even if they put their running back on a streak. This tight end corner is going to be running himself into coverage of that cloud flat, as you see right there. So I have the ability to basically cover to the tight end side, and this will help in the bomb proofing of the coverage. So if they were to go back to that setup that bombed us a second ago, what we can do defensively is we could be in that free safety zone blitz, so to speak, but instead of running a cover three on the left side, we're actually going to just run a cover two like this. And then maybe we take the safety, you know, and drop him into a middle third. Right. So this is kind of, a, a in my opinion, a, a pretty decent coverage. What I would probably do with this guy on the left is I would either put him in a hook curl, which is perfectly fine. Or you could put him in the middle third, put him in the purple to double flap that side, which I, you know, you don't have to do that. Um, Another thing you could potentially do if you wanted to uh, would be to man up this guy on any of the players on that left side. So what I would probably do, because I know the formation pretty well, we know that the main threat in the formation is the slot receiver. So we'll just man this guy up on the slot receiver, and then we'll play a coverage defense that looks like this. Okay. So this is another really good option or really good adjustment that you could run. And let me just show you how this plays the cover, the, the bomb aspect. So you see corner route's not going to be there. And then the deep post is not going to be there either. So all you have to do as a user defender is you just need to cover the, the, the check down drag over the middle of the field. Right? So super, super important. Now, the next thing that I want to go over is how to bomb proof the coverage for triple out because triple out is, uh, in my opinion, you know, probably the, the biggest X factor bomb that you have. So how do you, how do you stop this triple out play? Okay. So the first way that you can stop the triple out play is by having these corners backed off. So we're in free safety zone blitz, right? And remember what was our base setup from free safety zone blitz, just shaded underneath this pretty much generally, especially because we're sitting five will do a decent job at, at guarding this. I'll show real quickly here. So you see, I mean, we don't have a ton of time for it to develop. Also, that comeback doesn't manipulate them as bad if they are backed off. So again, if I'm in free safety zone blitz, just shade underneath. And then if we wanted to, we could certainly, you know, put this guy on the left side in a hook curl and kind of do that same thing where we want to cross man people or whatever, right? So you could do something like this. But anyways, the main thing I want to show, if I can get the triple out, is... If, even if they do run this with the motion out, oftentimes this deep corner, see how the outside third is? He does still take a step down, but he's much, much more able to recover because he's backed off. Obviously, I just click on there or have a KO, and that's going to be taken care of. But another thing that you can do is let's say you're really, you know, you're, you're really, like you see that motion out and you know, that's a potential option or something that they could do uh, on that side there. All you have to do is, is go to your cover three cloud. Okay. So if they motion this guy out, what I would do if I wanted to play coverage is I would audible to cover three cloud and then I would just flip it, just simply flip it and then bring your user down, kind of stand right here. Now, if you have time, feel free to man up the slot with that slot corner, right? And this will be a pretty good job at containing 
uh, at containing the triple out setup. So you see here that outside third. Well, actually, he kind of got broke. That's crazy. Maybe I lied to you. Maybe you just need a deep half. Okay. <laughs> Normally that outside third plays a little better than he did right there. Okay. So let's go back over triple out. This is just a bomb you have to be prepared to, to defend. You can obviously, if worst case scenario, you can just go run to it. You can obviously just go run to it. The only problem with cover two, cover two is fine, but it, it leaves, there is, there is some, some holes in it. So like if I were, if I were to go to free safety zone blitz, for example, okay, let's we'll make it easy. You can drop this guy in a cloud, this guy in a half, and kind of run the defense like this, for example. The only thing would be there's still a little bit of a window to the sideline. But as you see, see here, actually plays it pretty fine. Pr plays it pretty fine. So, and, and this is a, a general principle if you didn't know. Safety deep halves actually play, deep halves play better to the wide side than to the short side when defending fade routes and corner routes and things like of that nature. So when you see this motion out, Another real simple thing you could do, because even if they're running like, let's say they're running like this, just a completely random setup, just audible to DB fire too. You can make it really easy on yourself. Now, again, we would want to have audibled, and I'll explain kind of that in just a second, but what you'll see, DB fire too. So now you see how the half can kind of influence both sides. So again, we would come out, we'd already have, you know, already have had audible to DB fire two. And then let's say we, you know, are, are in cover three cloud and they run triple out. So they do this motion, which can sometimes bug alignment because we've audible as you see, they don't move. The only reason he audible or moved right there is because um, we shaded outside. So anyways, here, this will kind of take away the threat of triple out for a little bit. If they're short side and they're trying to run triple out, you don't have to worry about the, the bomb aspect of it. So let's say they're running triple out and they're short side. You don't have to worry about the deep, uh, the deep bomb aspect of the play. So, for example, like even if I'm just in a basic cover three to the left, what you'll see here from triple out is even if they do motion the comeback out, the grid system, it's just because of where the corner route kind of starts. As you see, see how he plays it all the way through. They can't really throw that. So if they're throwing triple out to the short side, that's where you need to be worried about your – that's where you'd really probably just prefer to have cloud flat, which kind of leads me to my next defense that I like to use to defend bunch tight end, and that is also going to be – you can do this out of spinner or free safety zone blitz, but it's we'll go over spinner here. So – this is just the cover three variation that I like to run. We're just going to crash our line inside. And then we're going to take, we're going to double flat the left. So you see here, we get two flats. We get a hard flat, a curl flat. We're going to deep third that outside corner. We're going to middle third the linebacker. And then we're going to play cover two on the right side. So it would look something like this. This is one of my favorite ways to play coverage against bunch tight end. Because that, that curl flat zone is – because really the main, the main route you're trying to be able to defend to that deep sideline like that is going to be a slot apprentice corner and then maybe like a route combo like this. And what you'll see here is that 20-yard that curl flat, he'll kind of muddy that up enough. And then oftentimes that corner is able to kind of roll back down to it. If for whatever reason you need to drop it to 25 yards, you can certainly do that as well. The last defense I want to cover for bunch tight end that I think is pretty decent is kind of a cross man style of defense. And I like to do this out of the play cover three cloud. So what we're going to do with this is we are going to utilize some cross mans. One of the main routes you have to worry about when you're defending bunch tight end is the tight end, uh, the tight end post. So we're going to take the linebacker and we're going to cross man him onto that tight end. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this backside safety who's on that outside third zone, and we're going to cross man him onto the 
corner route that would be the most concerning, which typically is going to come from the slot receiver. He has corners and crossers and posts and things of that nature, right? And then here to the right side, we are going to go ahead and play cover three. And the reason we're able to play this cover three is really just due to the hash marks. If we run the other hash mark, we probably would play cover two, and then that would just kind of slightly tweak who we we're manning up. But essentially, this is just a cross man setup to try to take away the two main targets uh, of this of this formation, which are the slot receiver and the tight end. And then we still kind of keep our coverage intact and are able to still, you know, kind of do a lot with this. And the user is able to stay kind of in the middle pretty safely. So those are some of my favorite defensive tips for defending bunch tight end and some of my favorite coverages. One of my absolute favorite coverages is to send five and to basically play a defense that looks like what you see on your screen because they won't be able to block this blitz very well in this formation and those slot corners will do a really good job. You could do very similar variations out of spinner. If you wanted to run some spinner, you could run you know, something as simple as, I mean, honestly, one of my under, I think an underrated coverage setup would be to cross man the slot receiver and then just simply play an inside-outside game on the other two receivers, as you can see here, and then on the right-hand side to just simply play an inverted cover two so that we're protected against the bombs. And then we're also sending a significant amount of pressure at our opponent, and we're able to still use her pretty well. So those are some of my favorite coverage defenses and tactics for defending bunch tight end. If you guys want to learn my entire dollar defensive ebook, head down to the description. Go join the Patreon today for just $10. The link is down below.